Hello and good evening, feeders. Today is August 31st, 2021, and my name is DJ. Joining me today, we have Feeder Finance Patrick. You want to say hello to everybody, Pat? Hi, guys. Hey. So, we got a lot of good stuff here for you this week. Um, first, we're going to start with the TLDR. So, this week, we were polishing and testing the front end of our DAP 2.0, and the product ramping soon to commence. This week, we also released a Medium article on our marketing approach, our organic marketing strategy, and we have some additional thoughts here to give you as well in this uh, audio update. Um, and actually, Pat, I'm going to throw things over to you. Do you want to talk a little bit here about our um, marketing strategy, just so we can get some further clarification for our users? Uh, sure, sure. Um, so, so we released the uh, the Medium article, uh, I guess, two days ago. Mm -hmm. um, the biggest, the first piece of that is actually to highlight, you know, the growth that we've achieved since the V2 launch, mm -hmm. and um, to get the message sort of across that we've, you know, we're we're believers in doing a holistic, you know marketing and community and project management where you know if you if you've seen the article if you scroll you know further down we have that that sort of that spinning wheel um where basically ultimately you you attract enough people that believe and you know are engaged and and, and love the product they you know sort of become the sales force and they do the marketing the necessary and the uh the genuine marketing that you know, expands the wheel in a sustainable and, and a long-term way. Um, and I think we've seen a lot of that, you know, hold true with how we've grown. Um, when you look at the quality and rather than the quantity, um, we have, you know, some would say a small or a smaller sort of, uh, you know, TG membership and stuff like that. But, you know, if you look at how, uh, how much capital we've, raised in terms of 40 LP and, you know, the, our market cap and, and all of that, I think, um, as well as how, how fast this app has grown mm -hmm. uh, in terms of usage and how I think, you know, with the development of V2, it's going to be even further, uh, you know, um, growing from there. I think it speaks to, you know, how this approach has really worked well for us. Mm -hmm. um, and to, and what I've, the additional color I've given to to this point that it wasn't mentioned in the Medium article uh, in our weekly update is a lot of our members uh, are perhaps new to the project or, or are more, have joined more recently. Mm -hmm. um, and some of you guys may have been around since, you know, day one or the first month. And you may remember that um, there was a time when the project did not have enough capital to pay for audit. Um, there was a time when the project didn't have capital to, you know, pay for partnerships that, you know, for instance, with Beefy, um, and all of that. And, you know, we've been through that. It was, and we, we pulled through and, and so the team is, has always been trying their best to manage capital as well as we can. And the goal is to align the growth of our community, you know, the project value, um, and our reach to align with development. Um, and a lot of the marketing materials do require development. You know, we can't just go out there and, and um, you know, tell people to, you know, look at us. And when they do, you know, we're not there. And I think a lot of that, <laughs> a lot of people that actually tried to do that have seen it firsthand because they actually went to Telegram groups and tried to show us. And the response was like, like, come back when you're more developed. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, we got that a right? lot in the beginning. Oh, my God. Yeah, and and and, I, and that makes sense. And I truly understand why that's the reaction, and because it makes sense to me as well. Mm. And so, in in all our thinking and all our strategy, it's more about aligning the materials and and everything that we put out, so that the first impression is actually a good one. Because you can only have one chance of that. Um, you know, the first impression is the only first impression you'll ever get. That's and so. True. Yeah, and so um, you know, we will with with the V two launch. I think we're in a very good state 
to start to reach out, you know, to people. Um, and so uh, we'll do that. We'll uh, we'll develop the materials that will require the V2 to develop. You know, even the article uh, for CT will require that the project or the, the platform is done before they can start writing. Um, and a lot of the materials face the same sort of timing issue where you can't do things now without things to the materials needed to develop these you know, media and, and stuff to, to, to release. Um, so that's coming. Um, and um, uh, and so I guess uh, since we're talking about the, the medium and, and now the, 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 the marketing piece, um, we have this proposal where we just, you know, um, we were planning to, to have a couple, of, to, to look at a couple of these as an option to, you know, as a strategy for user acquisition. Um, I think it's the most important thing about marketing is to acquire users because that's how our tokenomics was built on mm -hmm. um, relative to other projects that are, um, you know, transaction based or where people earn APYs and all of that based on transaction taxes and all of that. Um, they have an incentive to try to boost transactions, try to boost trading and everything else. And it's understandable why their marketing strategy is focused on that. In our case, our tokenomics was built solely based on maximizing our value from user acquisition that used our platform. And the platform will have multiple revenue streams, you know, both from TVL and, and others. And, but ultimately it comes down to how much user is using our platform. And that's why the Medium article highlights users rather than TG growth or, um, or trading volume and, and, and all of that. Like that's irrelevant to us long-term. It's the, the thing that everybody should be focused on is um, are we delivering a great product that you know, eventually a lot of people in DeFi will you know, want to use and will use? And that will then be reflected in our, you know, our project value and uh, and our token uh, tokenomics was you know um, designed to do that um, so going back to the proposal we we launched a proposal and I actually since we're in this audio I don't know if anybody already saw but um, I spoke to CT and so you know I've been speaking to CT for the past couple of days um, they actually proposed another option the pro the option let's first go over the options that we have so we have in the in the uh, proposal we have Coin Telegraph sponsored article, BSU News sponsored article, Coin Gecko banner ads. Um, that way, our editor picks, you know, sponsored post our spot, which we think, you know, makes sense from a user acquisition perspective. Um, but with my discussion with CT, they also propose another option, which is uh, their new sort of product offering in terms of promoting project. It's called Explained Article. Um, and so I put that into the discussion to see if you guys like it. If you do, um, I'll put it up as a list to vote as well. And what it is is basically, instead of just, you know, in other words, chill the project itself, it's more about explaining the use cases, explaining uh, the pain points that the project is trying to solve, how it's going to solve it and all that. So it's more uh, utility specific rather than product specific. Uh, so that's another option we can choose, and you guys can, you know, feel free to look at it and see if that makes sense for you. And you know, let's let's get this vote going. Um, and we'll vote on September 1st, 12 p.m. UTC, uh, for 24 hours. Um, so looking forward to you guys uh, participating. Yeah. Um, so I think uh, everybody should be excited for this. This is something to look forward to here. Um, Aside from that, we also, on September 1st, have the beginning of our sneak peek reveals for the DAP 2.0. You uh, you got any teasers you can uh, share? Anything you want to say about yep. uh, DAP 2.0 here, Pat? I know our viewers are hungry for it. They are waiting for it. <laughs> sure, sure. Um, so, you know, as we've, we've uh, communicated in the past, we're done with design, we're done with the back end, so the coding of, you know, the infrastructure is behind... Uh, what's going to be shown on the front end is all complete. Um, mm -hmm. The desktop version front end is actually done. What we're doing now is basically cleaning up the responsive for the mobile. So, you know, um, when it comes to the mobile, you need to rearrange things so it fits into the uh, smaller suite. 
of course. And the interactivity or in the interactiveness, I'm not sure what the word is, um, <laughs> of things, you know, moving like, you know, your, your side panel moving smoothly and, uh, and buttons, you know, uh, being highly responsive and stuff like that. That's sort of what we're sort of, you know, polishing. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, so that's where very, very close to being done there. Um, and finally, as you know, we need to ramp the products up to reach our target of 100 by the time we launch. Yep. Um, and the most, the, the, the heaviest lifting has been done. Uh, we've completed the contract, the base contract, you know, um, for the, the platforms that will will target for the launch. And all we need to do is to, you know, start to ramp it and test it on the, uh, on the mainnet to make sure it's functionally uh, or functioning as intended. Um, so that's what we'll we'll be doing, you know, probably to the last hour before launch. Um, so that's on the development side, um, and on the sneak peek side. So it's a seven day. So we'll launch that in. Um, I'm not sure if I communicated when exactly in the September first. I think I said U.S. I didn't t- t- and I forgot because I'm not from the U.S. There are multiple time zones in the U.S. and like many other places. <laughs> Um, no, nah, it's one place. So, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, uh, and I'm You're not good. from Russia, so I, you know, so I'm not used to multiple time zones. Um, but I, I say, I'd say, you know, um, midnight U.S. Eastern is probably uh, probably makes sense, um, and we'll we'll aim to start the sneak peek there, and probably have a 24 hour interval to you know for seven days. And what the sneak peek is is basically. Um, will with the v2 there are a lot of new things coming up uh and what we aim to do is to um show each of these points each of these new things that will come up uh visually as well so you'll see what it looks like uh and um we'll basically uh try not to make it so that you basically have all the answers because it's not fun that way (laughs) <laughs> um, but to try to get you guys, you know, talking and, and, and thinking about what it could be, what it, you know, and all of that. But I, I guess in, it, it's more about discussing how things fit together rather than what it is, because the fact that we're showing it, it's probably clear at that point what it is, but because we're not releasing everything in, in one go and all in one piece, it's more about, okay, how does yesterday's post fit with today's post? Like, what are these guys doing? You know, how, how what's the final product going to look like? Um, and so that's, I guess, the seven-day sort of engagement we'll, we're, we'll be looking for. Um, but ultimately, you will, you will all have the answer by the end of it. Um, and that's going to be the sneak peek. Um, and i also like to remind everybody that we'll, we'll not only ramp the vaults for the launch, but post-launch as well, because that's the focus for September um, in order for the platform to really have, you know, that use case, that you know, when we went out to a shell and people said like, yeah, what's the point of an aggregator when there's 20 products? Um, that's what we're aiming to resolve or basically prove them that a platform that aggregates should have, you know, products that, that, that enough products that make that platform useful. Uh, and so September we'll be, we'll be doing that, you know, probably a hundred, maybe more vaults coming up after launch as well throughout September. So imagine 100 posts with actual product delivery um, that will be posted online and, and could be shared and, and uh, retweeted and liked um, and all that coming up in September. And, uh, you know, we, we've always taken a stance where we'll never basically announce anything we haven't done. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, you know, we are in discussions with projects, some more advanced than others. Uh, and <laughs> some of it is waiting for the V2 launch so that we can get the things that are needed to be done complete because some of it th- requires some development on our end. And so that's waiting for V2 to be done and then we'll start to develop and, you know, uh, once we're done, go announce and stuff like that. So that's coming up for September 2. Um, and to be frank, we the fact that we're aggregating some of the newer platforms that we haven't already aggregated, that also opens up an opportunity for us to go to these platforms and say, hey, um, you know, we've launched 30 volts going straight to you. And, uh, you know, 
how nice we were sending three mil to a platform. How about you know some appreciation here? Yeah, uh, please be <laughs> nice. You know, stuff like that. Uh, not in these exact words, you know, but just trying to keep it casual here. Um, of course. Uh, so, and we've done that, you know, with Rabbit. We've done that with um, with. Uh, uh, we're trying to do that um, with Doppel. And, uh, and so I think that might work as well as part of, you know, a really organically driven marketing, a direct marketing to the users of DeFi, because people that follow yield aggregators or are community members of yield aggregators are DeFi users by default. Um, so that's, you know, going directly to the people that use it. Um, yeah. And with the hundreds of vaults that are expected to be coming, I mean, geez, that's what a couple hundred posts easy. Just between yeah, each, exactly, each. exactly. So, you um, heard it here first, folks. We have a lot of exciting things coming up for uh, the first of September and the seven days following. The whole month of September is going to be crazy with all these different uh, vault. Um, I don't want to say partnership; that's a bit ambitious, but vault uh, cooperations <laughs> going on between us and the broader BSC ecosystem. Um, so, for the folks asking when marketing. Um, you tell us because we uh, have the vote open on September 1st for you to be able to decide that. Uh, we're very interested to see what you guys think and how you think Feeder should tackle its September marketing initiative. But uh, I think uh, I think I know where it's going to go, and uh, I'm excited. I'm excited for it. I hope you guys are too. Um, any closing thoughts, Pat? Anything you got to uh, tie this one off here? Um, no, I think um, I'm super excited for us. You know, we've uh, we've waited a while for things, and things have been moving slower because we're working really hard in the background uh, for the V2. And I'm super excited. Um, the advisors we've uh, consulted with, you know, looking at our you know new design, it's all been 100% you know positive. Um, so we're confident that we've done a good job at it, and we're really excited you know and we hope you'll you'll be excited for what's coming for v2 and uh it's it's a you know a day and a week and a day to go so um looking forward me too pat me too before we go uh be sure to throw your community support to eight board zerion blockfolio coin sniper star us on pancake swap link uh get to us on bsc project and find us on coin scout that's all we have for you today, folks. Um, any further questions can be brought to the Telegram or Discord. Um, and we can't wait to talk to you guys soon.